kind of easy. Talk about uh, the Fall Cup. That's right. The Fall Cup this past Saturday um, really featured some of the best talent in the Southeast. So, um, you know, the Southern Stampede, we talked about them, I think, last week. They, they are probably the premier AAU team in the country coming back in, in, in that junior class this year. So guys like Ahmed Hill, JT Gant, even guys like Jared Coleman and uh, Michael Scott are, are all Division I guys um, in a year or two, some the highest level of Division I. And then, and then there's other players that were featured as well. So um, let's take them one by one. I'll start with Ahmed Hill. He, um, you know, you just can't say enough good things about this guy. He's six foot four. He's extremely athletic. And then I, I say he's a he's as close to being a pure shooter as you can be without being one. So and maybe he's so, he he's so athletic, you don't call him a pure shooter. If he was less athletic, yeah. people would call him That's a pure exactly shooter. Exactly what's happening. Yeah, yeah, one thing I tell people is if he was 5'11 and slow, yeah. he would still be on the court uh, uh, contributing sure. very well because he can absolutely drill it. And now, and, and I talked to him before the game, interviewed him on air, and he and his his coach tells me this too. He's working extremely hard in the off season to develop his game off the dribble. And I saw that um, Saturday. Um, usually, you know, if you can contain him and keep him out of the open court and keeping him from catching and shooting, you, you'll do okay. But that didn't work Saturday. Did you notice that as well, Will? Exactly. Uh, and he, and he does his damage in three dribbles or less. So it's very hard after he beats you for the help to get over there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you really want to get over there with the athleticism once he gets yeah. by with a head well, of steam. Yeah, you might get picked on because you might be posterized <laughs> oh, for at, sure. at, at, any, at any moment. Uh, yeah. Who were some of the other players or maybe a player that stood out to you, Will? J.T. Gant. Speaking uh, of posterized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. J.T. Gant. This guy, and the first word that comes to my mind is raw. But usually when you say raw, the guy really can't do a whole lot. Yeah. This guy still can dominate the game on either end. I mean, I saw this guy just finish above the rim, just time after time, block shots. Then uh, against a smaller uh, Duke team in, in the Fall Cup uh, finale, he went to the polls, you know, right-hand hook. You know, he, he just, he, he has the highest ceiling of any kid that, that we've discussed so far. Yeah. And uh, with his length and athleticism, I, I look for him to really dominate the game defensively. I saw him as an eighth grader and knew he was good and all that. But then his freshman year, he was at Effingham County, and I read a write-up when they played Greenbrier, and he had 17 points, 15 rebounds, and like 12 blocks. And I went, wait a second, yeah. this got to be a misprint. But no, he's just steadily getting better and better. This kid, that's, and, he, and Chad, am I right? Just about everybody in the ACC, SEC are looking at this Yeah, kid. we checked it right before yeah. the show, and he's gotten offers from Georgia, Georgia Tech, and Clemson. And I think that's just the start. Yeah. Um, you know, the other thing I'll say is, you know, he plays at Effingham County down in the Savannah area. Yeah. And I saw him play against Evans last year, and he put a few highlights up. You know, definitely was a highlight-worthy game. But it wasn't like a dominating game by him. And, and Saturday, in a fall cup, you know, more of an off-season atmosphere, he was mean. He was competitive. He was getting after people. And so I, I, I really look for him to step his game up big time this year at Effingham County. And he even knocked down a few threes. Yeah, I saw him with a little touch from the outside. That's yeah. the, the, the progression in his game. Yeah. Uh, anybody else that we well, need to Well, you, you know, I'll go back to one of my players. Uh, Will gave him a lot of praise last week. And in that first game, uh, Austin Crown um, from the Greater Augusta Independent Schools, my team, he, uh, it was interesting with him because Michael Scott from Aquinas was guarding him. And Mike, uh, Meet, we call him Michael Meat. He, gave, uh, he gives everybody troubles away from the basket, and, and, and Austin really uh, handled that well, as you see here, getting to the basket with the left hand, finishing over the 6'10 guy. So um, he was very impressive, as he has been all fall league. And then while I'm on uh, Michael Scott and point guards, um, you, you know, he at Aquinas, Ahmed Hill's running mate, I was impressed with him as well. You kind of get... When you see Michael in uh, AAU, the highest level of AAU ball, you see him in a more controlled atmosphere playing a role. You get him into a more of a high school setting, which is where we were Saturday, and, and, and it's fun to watch him because, you know, he can really let loose. And yeah, he, he's, a, he's a crowd favorite. He's a little guy, but, man, I, I remember the eighth grade All-Star game thing he played in. A colleague of mine, Matt Lane, I, I didn't get to be at the middle school game, and I called him and checked on the game, and he said, 
man, this Michael Scott kid, y'all weren't lying. This kid's unbelievable. Right. And he just kept getting, you know, kept yeah. doing that time and time again, proving himself. He had him on skates, didn't he? He did all day. <laughs> and he, the defensive pressure he applies just, yeah. he just really gets after the opposing guard. Yeah. When, I don't know about you guys. I didn't play a lot of defense. I learned defense <laughs> when I got to college. I didn't worry about defense that much in high school. Uh, who are some of the other standout recruit, uh, you know, recruitable players that uh, you guys have seen lately? One of the guys that really uh, jumped out to me was Rayshon Taylor mm -hmm. at Westside. Um, he, he's a junior guard with great size. Uh, he was scoring from all over the floor, three-pointers, uh, using his size. With One of the things that, that you can see him going against Michael Scott, he made that shot like four or five times during that game where he just would get to the free throw line and use his size to jump over him and shoot the ball and, and knock it down consistently. He made step-back jump shots. He got to the basket, and he competed, you know. Yeah. You know, him and his, his counterpart, you know, Frank Booker, they really did a good job of competing with this other team full of D1 guys. Yeah, that's, that's going to be so big for him this year, playing with Frank Booker, because so many schools are going to be coming in to look at Frank, mm -hmm. and then Taylor's going to benefit from that, no doubt, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and everybody knows who, who have been following us uh, that I thought the world of Ronald Campbell, who, who graduated from Westside, but I think uh, Rayshon is going to bring more to the table, especially over a two-year period, mm -hmm. but even this year, than even Ronald brought, which who I love. I love Ronald to death, but I'm really high on Rayshon as well. And then I'd love to uh, get a word in about Jared Coleman out of Greenwood High School. Jared Coleman is a, a, a junior, pure shooter. Um, we talk about how Frank shoots the ball. Jared um, is in that same kind of class as far as catching and shooting and being deadly from beyond the arc. And I, I love about Jared is that um, he, uh, he's being recruited by schools like Harvard. Great yeah. um, academic record, great kid. His father actually referees in the Peach Belt, um, so he's a very visible guy, and, um, and, and, and so I, I like Jared a lot too. And then, and then Will, um, somebody caught your eye, caught both of our eyes, and made us really sit up and take note about South Aiken as a team. Um, you wanna tell the, the viewers yeah, about uh, Jordan Dingle? Jordan Dingle, first time really getting a chance to see him up close, heard good things about him. Really strong, athletic point guard. He has a great mid-range game. Uh, people probably didn't hear a lot about him. South Aiken didn't have a great year last year, but um, he, he's re he really impressed me in the Fall Cup with his ability to lead his team, defend, and really take advantage of his size with smaller guards on the defensive end. And, um, you know, just to continue, you know, use his quickness to pull up in that lane and make shots. You know, at this level, a lot of guards who are fast, they get into the lane too deep at times mm -hmm. and get stuck and don't know what to do and turn the ball over. He really knows his game and does a good job of getting to that mid-range area and just elevating over opposing guards, knocking down shots. So if you're looking for a sleeper this year, then Dingle might be the guy out of South Aiken. Yeah, not guy. just Dingle, but South Aiken. Yeah. I, I was very impressed with because there were other players there from that team as well that impressed.